Hey, what's up, Final Community? This is Andy. Um, I was just wanting to do... Uh, I, haven't, I have some new pickups since my last video, but not that many. But I, I've been thinking about doing this for a while and just talking about something that I haven't seen uh, anybody that I follow talk about. Uh, and do like kind of a little series uh, about some records. These are also records that could have gone into Kieran's um, Under 10 or in my case, under 15, because these are not super expensive records, but um, it's very interesting music. I, I have some on in the background, but it's pretty soft, so you may not be able to hear it. Um, so this is like a chamber uh, music uh, group called the Penguin Cafe Orchestra. So if you haven't heard of these guys... Uh, this is the record to get. This is, um, I don't know if this is a compilation or what, but this is one that was put out by Editions EG, which was Brian Eno's uh, record label, or, you know, his sub-label on, uh, on on his own label, on, on, on the, I can't, on Gem. So, this is, uh, Again, this is ch like this is really chamber music with a, um, a interludes of kind of the abstract minimalist stuff that you would get on Eno's um, abstract records on his atmospheric records, but it's not electronic. Um, I think maybe they have some like they have electronic piano, uh, but everything else is purely uh, acoustic instruments. So it's not like um, it's not like it's an electronic um, group, uh, and so that's their best one. But if if you see their stuff, you can get it for again under fifteen bucks, and I think all of it's pretty interesting music. Uh, here's another one, and the covers are all weird as hell. Uh, this is Sign of Life. I think this was one that I looked for for a little while. It wasn't as easy to come across. Um, and I think it's always the same group. The main guy, the the composer for the music, was a guy named Simon Jeffies. Uh, and he passed away a while back. Um, but I think he, you know, he, he these often share many of the same uh, musicians. And, um, yeah, it's, it's all interesting stuff. Uh, some of it is great to just put on and read, you know. And then it'll, it'll catch your attention uh, with some, with like an interesting little uh, or like a, a, a um, like a, a, a melody will suddenly appear and you'll it'll draw your attention. Uh, but then you can go stretches without being distracted as well. Um, here's another one. This one was broadcasting from home. This is also editions, e.g. I think yeah, I paid eight dollars for this. These are super cheap, uh, and you know, there's just no, they're not they're not very hip, you know, they're not very cool. Um, so I don't think you know, like some of the jazz that we all like uh, has, even if it's weird avant garde jazz, it at least has some 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 hip factor to it, and this stuff just doesn't really. Uh, this one's also a really good one. This one of their better songs is called. Air a dancer, which this one has. If you see that that first song on the first side, um, that's a really good song. Um, I think maybe these are all on editions, eg, and they all have these paintings uh, of people with penguin heads. Here, there's a penguin person chatting with a full blown penguin. Um, I think I have all of the releases that ever came out on vinyl. There might be one that I don't have that was like a German only or something. Um, and some came out on CD as well. Uh, and they they do some of the songs over and over again, either different renditions or they just re put them on the same al on different albums. So there's that Ara Dancer again. I'm not quite sure how you say that. Also editions eg um a song just came on 
that is a really great one. That, it's like one of the few with vocals. This one's called Surface Tension. So if you want to, I'll put a link actually uh, to um, Surface Tension on, uh, I'm sure I can find it here on YouTube. So I'll put a link. It should appear above me uh, right now. So yeah, random stuff. I hadn't listened to it in a while because I've been listening to mostly jazz uh, for the past year or so. There was a time when, like, most nights my wife and I would have this, um, the Penguin Cafe Orchestra on while we were reading or um, chatting or whatever. And it's readily available, cheap stuff, really interesting music, uh, crazy cover art, crazy cover art. Uh, so, yeah, if you see it and you're wondering what the hell is this, uh, grab it. It's really good. All right. Uh, I'll make another update once I get to maybe 10 uh, new records in. Uh, I'll show off a record that I get from Tom um, once once it gets here. He and I made a trade through Instagram. Um, and I have a bunch of stuff coming from Sweden. So I'll, once that comes, I'll, 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 I'll make a video about that. All right. Have a good night, everybody.